Hello, so we're talking about leadership approach. And as I defined yesterday, uh, for me, leadership approach you know, is all about how you are as a leader and what you view leadership is about for you um, and essentially sort of how you come into the world as a leader. So in terms of essentially sort of my experience and what I've learned about leadership approaches, um, this is is really sort of the main reason why I've made this shift from referring about from referring to leadership style as opposed to leadership approach. You know, I saw style as something almost that people would put on, right? Like as a as a jacket or a suit of armor. Um, you know, they would they would sort of dress up as a leader and that, and they would create this persona. You know, almost like a sort of a superhero. Um, you know, get in the phone box and. Been around, you're a leader, um, and that, that was this. That was born out of this sense that you had to have a leadership style. Okay, um, you know. Whereas I look at it almost more like it's a mode of becoming, and it's something that you are as opposed to something that you do. So you know, I consider myself to be of service to my team, my customers, and my suppliers as a leader. Right. So leadership for me is about being of service, and I've essentially come to that realization um you know most definitively in the last two years um that it, it's essentially a combination of i think really the way i've always approached work um it's about you know sort of what, what can i do for other people um and that by helping other people i will ultimately help myself and that for me is, is what service is all about right um so there's that part then i've always had this approach of kind of being a bit stubborn um, and just keeping going and, and, and just, you know, really being you know, kind of pretty persistent with things. Um, and, 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 and how I was able to sort of bring that into sort of accepting, well, actually, this is my approach to leadership, um, you know, sort of came from uh, this interview uh, with this guy called Tom Bilyeu, this American guy um, who has a show called Impact Theory on, on YouTube. Go check it out. Um, and and Tom in this interview talked about this principle techne, uh, T E C H N E, um, that you know his interpretation is a little bit different, but it, it references this sort of this Greek philosophy, ancient Greek philosophy of techne, which is essentially talking about mastery as a modality of finding a thing, you know, a craft or an occupation, you know, or a or a or a or a um, you know sort of a, a service that puts you in the position to do something that you really love doing and become really masterful in the practice of that thing and that that thing should be basically to the benefit of others at least as much if not more than the benefit of yourself and that, that he refers to as technique find something you love become really really good at it make it about other people and and that really landed for me and when I heard that and I wrote it down and I reflected on it, I went, right, I can, I can absolutely, you know, sort of move into that modality and go, well, this stubbornness is about, I really, I stick with one thing because I love doing it. Um, and there is a bit of kind of selfish devotion in that, right? And then, you know, I stick with things long enough to become very experienced and, you know, I don't like to sort of apply the, the term masterful to myself because I consider myself to be in constant learning as opposed to mastery of, but I think mastery itself is a progressive form. And then it's all about other people. Um, so that's, you know, one of the key, you know, sort of things for me that I've, you know, sort of come to realize through being out in the world, looking at the way other people are doing it, you know, listening to other leaders' purpose, their philosophy, their definition of how they go about doing things and who they aim to be as a leader. And when I hear something I like, I take it and I make it my own. And I reform it and remold it and resculpt it a little bit. But yeah, you know, that's essentially my approach. So my question to you is, you know, in terms of thinking about your approach to leadership, what have you seen, heard, felt, smelt that you really liked in another leader? And yeah, you know, think of maybe a few different things and then think about, well, how can you take those and can you mold them and bond them together to create your own way of being as a leader and define who you are as a leader 
and that then becomes your approach to leadership. So I'll leave that with you, see how you go with that, and I'll see you tomorrow to talk about what I've observed through the eyes of other leaders.